Hey guys, Tartrup here bringing you a 2v2 today. We are on else outskirts. AFT spawning on the right is PS3, yes. With British forces, who's got Vanguard, Special Weapons, and Commando. Team about them is Crossfire. With US forces, who's got Airborne, Infantry, and Recon support. On the left is Dask to With OKW, Elite Armored locked in straight away. Team about them is Kaiser Friedrich. Overwatch locked in straight away, also with OKW. Very high ranking match this one. I've got them up over here. These three, yes, 11. Crossfire, 15. Desk to 12. And Kaiser, 6. Terrible. Top of the food chain matchup this one. Crossfire going one rifle into Pathfinder. Oh, he's doing that trick where you can build from inside of the building. So like he might have misplaced the wire, though, to get a, a straight-up block here. Maybe he's going to go for a second piece. Pathfinders on station and yep, ready for action. Got the wire trap kind of set up going. Okay, <laughs> the back and forth thing there. Trying to escape with the stern pose, they run into another squad back in the building. I don't know why he's staying in this fight for even that long. Yeah, he didn't, yeah I was going to say, drop even more models. Oh, early incendiary grenade there. Kaiser. Wow, he's gone for a super fast. Uh, battle group. Really, really fast. Only two squads in the battle group. I think he might have been blocked in there. I think it's one of those wires off where you can get in, but you can't get out. I'm assuming you can get in, but it looks like P3 is doing well over here. He'll be able to get healing on one of these. Might even be worth like him backing up to here to get healing started. On one of these squads. The point, so this maybe what he's going to do here. Yeah, I mean, if, if he did this, started this up like 15 seconds or so earlier, by the time the enemy's back attacking him, he'd already be fully healed up. Usually, one on the other side, though, always a good answer to Pathfinders. Bully those away. I'm probably going for three Pathfinders after the rifle squad. Don't see that too often. You see that Kai's actually spending a lot of time in base waiting for his healing to come online. So he's actually very slow coming back to the front line. So it's going to work out okay for PS3S anyway. Plenty of time to heal thanks to that healing delay of Kaiser himself. He's now going for some Jaeger lights. Destroy cover coming in out the back here. Without the G43, Mega Lights, nothing special here. Absolutely blasted. G1's coming in to assist on the other side. Trying to avoid the snare though of the sapper. Let's go inside the building. It's just going to retreat. They might do some in and out trickery, but no, he's just going to get out of there. Bit of a treacherous retreat, but he's going to survive with the, all models as well. Wow. I think healing will still be on cooldown, but I'll be wrong about that. The G43 is a pop now for Kaiser. Looks like our bolster is also popped for PS3, yes. Tries to come in for a bit of extra firepower here, but chased away quickly. Getting out there, just badly outnumbered. Oh, healing's off. Ready to heal. Oh, 
focusing this section. Okay, now I think switching over to the stern pie. A little bit slow though. Mm. Is there a retreat quite late? No, it's just a blob versus 2 2 1 situation on the other side. Not much for Crossfire to do here. In fact, he's going for healing now. You see, already a Rakesson on the field for Dasker, so maybe expecting there to be a half track arriving. Hasn't yet. Yeah, with all these, you know, like extra squad and then healing. Crossfire, no counter to the 223 for a long time. Just relying on blobbing up against it and focusing it down. Not going to be able to do that for long though. 223 upgrades about to pop. It has that extra armor. Small arms is not really going to get the job done. He's across that wire he has. Extra cuts. Does have the cutters. Didn't see uh, that upgraded. Ooh, I think accidental retreat on the stern pies there. Been just trying to retreat that low health squad, but this is it now with the extra armor all coming in, but it's going to take a sneer here from the rifleman. Yeah, I think the sneering model kept dying. It came out really slowly. Oh wow, going for Ford Ambo here and then a mortar pit as well. Interesting. Glider commandos can be called into battle. Orders are ready to be issued. Just for as you can see, yeah, finally getting enough for gliders. I'm going to bring in some commandos now. We'll destroy cover, clearing off the sight lines a bit more. Lighter dropping down on the cut off. See, the allies are quite far behind on VPs at this stage. A pretty uh, strong start for the Axis on the back of that 2 2 1. Clumpers focused on the spot inside the building. Sep is doing well over here. Oof, that was a close call for Kaiser. It's away with it though. And, uh, next tech truck coming in the desk to already. Maybe trying to go for like an early. Schwer on that uh, cutoff there. Seems like the allies have got some momentum going now though, fighting back. Jamal Pitt helping dislodge some troops from the building and. Make it a bit of a push. He still hasn't ever answered to the 223, but you can see the desk to. Maybe expecting something to be arriving, like an AT gun. It's not driving like right in and blasting from close range that often. Some tank traps coming up for some cover. This may be for like uh, fighting against this and, and this. Interesting. And there we go, the mortar pit actually doing the heavy work there. 23 backs away. 13 kills already. It's doing pretty well. Now some uh, paratroopers coming in for crossfire, upgrading with LMGs. A look at his KD is not very good, is it? We can see Kaiser actually having a similar struggle on the other side of the map. I think Kaiser's problem, no indirect fire, you know, every time his is in cover or in a building, it's just having to fight them head on often and Bad cover positions himself. Okay, he's putting this up right in the corner instead. Still on the map though. Under attack. Stay a bit more mobile with the, with the uh, 223, I think. Can't allow those mortar pit shells to counter him. There's a grenade on the incoming path. Doesn't hit anything though. Let's say Pakawi from Crossfire now is well. Oh, oof! 223 is just getting blasted down by indirect fire here. And this is tough for Dax to push in after this. 
Crossfire, yeah, he's walled off with all the tank traps. Has been set. The static post is now in operation. Not that in those heavy cover positions, he's going for some Obers. The war now. Can plant the Regals. Oh, we got a Munis. So there's not a sweeper yet. Maybe it could be a decent time to try to sneak a couple down. So just come out here. Decap the cutoff. Treating. Bob coming in. Not going to be able to kill it though. Oof, and the indirect fire really bullying Dask at the moment. Blast off the map. Kaiser, though, still doing pretty well on the other side. Well, it's not really reaching over here, so he's got a bit more freedom than his teammate does. Glad to hear for reinforcements as well. It's going to be a tough engagement, Kaiser. It's nice cut and run. Maybe he's trying to save manpower for something. Might be the end of the glider, though. Oh, here come the mortar pit shells, though. Oh. oh, and he isn't noticed, and he loses a stern pose. Ouch. It's quite a, you know, decent window between the two mortar pit shells landing. Like, quite often, two shells land, like, almost back to back. You don't have much time to dodge, but on this occasion, there was a decent spacing between them. Happen though. Oh, these mortar pit shells, man, they're doing crazy work. Need a bit two on that. Chasing away the Raketon from the far fuel. Axis in control of both fuels at the moment, though. Should be on time for some pretty fast mediums here. Fast as relative, I suppose. You know, it's near that fast going for an OKW P4, but. Build on the stern post for Kaiser. Dester's got a lot of manpower. He's going for an ISG now. That's one thing the commandos can't really do anything about. Bit five, two, two, three. Well done. Some recon's got really good vision. Much you can see with it. Really, really strong vision tool. Don't have to, like, you know, spotting scope, stay stationary, or anything. Just drive around and you can see for miles. Support gun deployed. Crew ready for orders. Crossfire just blobbing up. Just don't really have uh, that strong of a counter to this. Need some indirect fire now, though. Might be able to punish this a bit. Do have pathfinders, so it can be hard to contain this kind of blob with a machine gun because of all the sight, and of course they've got pack Howie and mortar pit here as well, so. Machine guns maybe not really the answer to this kind of blob either at this stage. Just need some big high explosive damage. Is she getting uh, counterbraged here? Kill so far on the 223 has been slowing down a bit as this squad starts climbing here. Just 
blasted by that mod of it too. Nice cheat. Well, I was going to try reset up here. That's interesting. Got to cast a grenade the commandos who are trying to sneak in. Get chopped up though by the OKW blob. It smokes just to make sure he survives that. It would be a shame to lose the 223. As I said, the Regals division is still very good actually against Crossfire's composition. Still doesn't have a tank yet, but he be very close. Got the Major, got a good amount of fuel. So I don't know where I go for like a Sherman. Looks like maybe it's going to be Jackson first. Forward retreat point engaged now as well. It's not super far forwards though. Don't know how much time that's actually going to save them. Next to the uh, slower reinforced times. Oh, be the end of the uh, stern pies. I think smoke is still cooling down. I think. No, nope, here it goes. There's emergency repairs cooling down. Okay, here comes a Centaur. This is quite blank for PS3s yes, though. Oh, fortunately it is dead. A paratrooper grenade, I think. Usually we see uh, those rushing Centaur, you know, maybe skipping... Oh, the car's coming in. Skipping the uh, bolster. Doesn't seem like the cluster bomb's doing too much there. Actually avoided. And oh boy, Kaiser's got sector assaults. E4 is coming in. This could be a bit of a move for Race in the wrong direction though to start things up. Centaur trying to shoot them down. E4 is coming in. The AT gun to back it up, but no. Okay, Snare's going off on the P4. He popped the uh, heat shells as well just to try to guarantee his pins. Be close to guaranteed actually in the uh, Centaur. We've got those activators. So it's a shame. Allowing the double Faust off. Good work by Kaiser, able to save up so much munitions. Hasn't actually upgraded you know, these Fox communities with ECGs, for example. That's what allowed that to come off there. But he did take some losses. You know, he lost a squad over here himself. So he's still. Uh, Quite badly behind in this match. Some grenade on the mine. Seem to be working. There's another mine there. Okay, there it goes eventually. Kills off the uh, sandbag, but badly outnumbered with the squad. It's actually got a forward uh, mechanized. Looks like Kaiser. We're gonna go straight for a King Tiger here. It's maybe gonna allow the Allies a moment of dominance. Right now. Of course, going across. Oh, wait, he's gonna a compromised position for PS3, yes. Oh, boy, he's in some major trouble here. He's his teammate's AT gun that's still in the middle. Grenade in, but avoided nicely. The phosphorus in. Is that from the pack alley? Doesn't seem. Uh, oh, carnage! Okay, there we go. Section dead. But here comes the Jackson from Crossfire, looking to save the day. Yes, but trying to steal away the six pounder. It's getting blasted by the section, though. That's not going to happen. The Jackson not going to risk chasing through the smoke. Understandable. We'll recover the AT gun. We're ready. Where do you want more? Damned enemies trying to take a point from us. Stop their trouble. 
Six pounder anti tank gun finished. Coming through. Down over here, he's got the fuel boost active as well, Desk, sir. He's saving up a bit of bamboo. He's got a strong enough composition now. He's probably stalling up for the King Tiger. He's playing the Elite Armored after all. What's that with the uh, busted vision? And here we go, first KT on the field. From Kaiser. Only has one racket to back this up, so. Be a little bit careful, doesn't have many snaring squads too, just the one fault screen here. Base helps of fire coming in there now. Jackson going up to the top. Smoke in the wrong location. Does happen sometimes when you uh, change camera in this game. Yeah, the RD dodged. Didn't really do too much. Jackson having trouble finding an angle here. Surprise, you know, he could leave his AT gun here, send the Jackson around the corner. AT gun. Got a second one coming in, PS3S. Yes. KT's just going to charge straight in here. Suckers aren't particularly close. Jackson's coming across, bouncing King Tiger, shrugging up a lot of damage, but here come the cluster bombs. Could stun the King Tiger a bit. Quite a bit of damage, Rothman coming in from the side with the snare. Uh oh. Oh my god, it's just a bounce fest. You need something to continue providing vision. Here comes the racket now. King Tiger might have bounced enough damage here to survive. Ambo goes down, meanwhile, Dasta pushing on the other side while this is happening. Splitting Crossfire's attention. Got away with the AT gun. Dodged the arty, but. Lost his captain as well. Maybe we're going to try push onto the mortar pit now. Just a absolute tragedy, man. He must have bounced almost like three quarters of the shots there. It seemed like that King Tiger's armor holding up well. He needs something to continue providing vision, like a pathfinder or something. He maybe could have gone for a chase. Fine decision not to chase any further. Those are those kind of chases where you just get frustrated, you know, you bounce so many shots you really want to kill it, but you end up chasing them. They keep bouncing and then you just lose your Jackson and you lose the game. Here through the damage. Wanted to keep the glider for the Ford reinforce, but she does go down to the Rakitten. Anyway. So an engagement for PS3. Sounds like he's got the heavy mortars, so he's gone for hammer. Guys now are hit though by about 150 VPs. Crossfire's got a massive manpower surplus. Just so much manpower floating at the moment. Is he going for a second Jackson, maybe? Could even consider putting down like a cash muni or uh, fuel. It's okay at this stage because PS3 is also maybe needs some fuel. He's gonna save up on fire flight. We're losing a capture point. Fire coming in there from the Jackson is vested up now. I've lost the armor piercing rounds next time. Might help out a bit against the KT. Oh wow. Whoa, this was a very unexpected call. Dexter gone for a Panther instead of a King Tiger. Alright. SG decrewed and quickly killed off by Crossfire. He wasn't letting that one be recovered. I mean, I suppose if the allies end up going for three tank destroyers, KTs might have a tough time, but still, you know, 
I was not expecting that. He's putting the commander on this as well. It's a more anti-tank role, it feels like. Late retreat there from Dasta. That's why he's chasing, looking for the white. Doesn't quite get it though. Doesn't have any bars on his uh, pathfinds yet, as far as I'm aware. If this chasing in after the Jackson, there are a lot of AT guns here though. Besides, to pull back, Pestry is though, he's not setting up for some reason. Now he's moving, but some artillery's been dropped down here. Got interrupted there. Getting back into it. T gun got D crew. This one quite far forwards now. Oh boy, P4 getting stuck there on the side of the building. Oh, that's a disaster for Dasta. And he ends up losing it. The spins, eh? You're a bit too close to the building. Can't happen. Right up against it like that. Okay, but well done by Dasta. Actually managed to knock this out, even though it was that far forwards. That was impressive. You can see, like, you know, the level of these players compared to maybe some uh, slightly lower ranked games we see. As soon as an AT gun or something like that gets decrewed, they are so quick to destroy it. One lot of munis for PS3, yes. We have some Mokido tech trucks on the map, so maybe we'll see some air supremacy pushes. Haven't decided to go for Brens yet. Okay, commandos. Grenading, I think, onto a Raketan and stealing it. Replacing his other lost AT gun, that's a nice pickup there. Over's grenade. To move. Come in for a little crush action. MGT crewed up here. I'm a little bit surprised Crossfire hasn't gone for uh, bars or anything yet. He's got the better pathfinders for the bars as well. You don't drop them as often. You only have one scope rifle. Oh wow, a Howie coming up for Kaiser out the back here. Okay, he, he had anything he could build a uh, walking Stuka if he wanted to. Got all the tech trucks up, but he wants the Howie. Looks like he's pointing it right at the mortar pit. Speaking of walking Stukas though, here comes one for Dasta. He's going up for the pack Howie. Pretty solid uh, barrage there, six kills, you need to get one off that one barrage. Got two Jaxes now for crossfire. Counter these uh, Axis big boy tanks. Boom, boom, good start for him. Trying to uh, work its way around the corner. It's got the spearhead mode. It's got the uh, Jaeger lights there for spotting anyway, though, at the moment. Kinto going for a bit of a chase here, even. Little Jacksons. They're coming in. Smoke. Facing the King Tiger through. Here come the Jacksons. He's dropping the Loiter. No Centaur to shoot this down anymore. Guys. Like they're going to try to disengage, but the Jackson getting stuck there, spinning around. Oh! Okay, well, there we go, Jackson dead. T-gun decrewed as well. Oh, there goes the Ambo. It's looking kind of bad for the Axis, but they dropped the Loiter, and that uh, solves all the problems. Cluster bombs out the back here from Crossfire. None of them connecting on the kit. Look at that, like a complete dead spot for that. I mean, nothing landed at all. Killing off all these AT guns now, the Axis. That was a huge push. Now they are way up into his army. About 50 total army ahead now after that. 
crazy. If they lose this mortar pit, that would be really bad news. Let's have the back here. The planes uh, have timed out now, though. I hear them not flying around anymore, so it's safe to come back in. Even though they have a few seconds potentially remaining. Come into the circle for long enough, they will time out. Just got to keep your ears open. On deck. Okay, able to steal away the raquette, and again, it's another commando gambling bomb steal, looks like. Echelon dead up there. So that crossfire managed to save his medics from that ambo. That's why we didn't see the uh, death indicator for it. able to use them for some uh, healing still. Got that uh, healing, or like manual healing as well, like aura healing or manual healing. Okay, here comes the Howie, he's, he's barraging the uh, mortar pit. Oof. He uses the sappers there. Has he got two Howies? He's, he's built three Howies. <laughs> okay, well, P3S is not having that. He drops the assault to provide vision, and then now he's dropping the air supremacy. Kaiser cancels one of the Howies. Kaiser definitely memeing. Drops one arty. A little bit of damage onto the trucks, maybe. Wow, there wasn't actually much scatter. Usually more scatter on that second plane. A bit wider than that. What if it did go down, though? He's, he's starting up another how he's spacing them up apart though as you want to to try and avoid his supremacy knocking out multiple ones and ps3 is quite a long way off another air supremacy now Flank in, although again from crossfires having some success coming in from the top angle. Ready, 223 ready. gonna come in here. I don't want to expose the 223's rear armor to the uh, M1919 fire though, ideally. Yes, I have some cluster bombs, but that's just is paying attention, he's dodging. The Jackson's coming up for the 223. He's gonna retreat through his own cluster bombs. Bit of a push there, Ober's trying to grenade on the retreat. In. Kit in there. Let's try and chase away. Oh, look at that. That was a nasty shot. Still available here. Oh, wow. The Yagalite's dead, though. But later on the retreat. FOV Jackson. He's got the HVAP going on the Jackson wall. Back camera work. Chasing, he's chasing. Oh, baits him into a light AT mine, but the Panther, I don't think he missed a shot there. Coming, coming for revenge, though. Just to pin one more, I think. Bounce, though. Bounce, bounce. He's chasing, he's chasing. There's a raquette and coming up. He's not going to chase any further. Goes for one last shot and bounces as well. Oh, that's heartbreaking for the Allies. Wow. That is so sad, oh my goodness. Two bounces in a row, eh? <sighs> what can you do? What can you do? It's nice from crossfire, you know. Supply lines if cut. the Panther missed a shot, you know, maybe the extra time he bought from that light AT mine would have got the job done. I think the damage, you know, from HVAP combining up the light AT mine is what allowed come down to that, otherwise the cop would have to do two shots. Get his out back repairing. 
Allies still ahead on VPs though at this stage. They are way behind on army, but... Seems like Kaiser's kind of given up on building uh, sensible units and he's building houses instead. So I feel like that's going to give the Allies a bit of an opportunity to uh, make a comeback here. I wonder if he's just going to go for like a base annihilation strategy at this stage. These houses. They're slightly out of range of the base though. Oof. No reaction on the overs. Bit of a close call there. It's backed up with the Rakitin. This is dropping the loiter. Fireflies coming in now as well. Mando's there. Provide some vision, I think, from their camouflage. Maybe he's still just on the edge of the circle. He backs up a tiny bit further. He's blasting with that Firefly. But here comes the Panther. Comet is nearby. He decides not to uh, get too involved. He took a snare though from the Sappers. Where's this walking Stuka going? Right from dead over here. Maybe got hit by a Howie shell and then poshed off. Oh, the INR Pathfinder's dead in base goes down. Oh boy, he's still on a hold fire here. Might be excellent for PS3, yes. The King Tiger did though. Wow, he takes a chance chasing him with the Firefly. He gets the job done nicely done there by PS3, yes. I missed most of that, but there's just too much action. Too many wipes happening all at once. Not that walking stupid dude. I heard that firing. 10 kills. Okay, not, not the best. Was, was it six kills after the first barrage? He's been doing that well thereafter. Maybe he's even eight. Ten kills on one of these Howies, by the way. Others, not so good. <laughs> wonder if Kaiser's just going to wait for another King Tiger. He's got huge resources in reserve at the moment. Another AT gun covering in for crossfire. So low on fuel. It's a problem for the allies at the moment. Of the crossfire mainly. He probably needs to rebuild some of his infantry as well. Let's get his side tick to Lieutenant. Wondering why. Like, if you're up against three howitzers and walking Stuka, I probably wouldn't be looking to build machine guns. Is over here. They could cap, but they're just uh, hiding Going for an ambush, maybe. Six kills so far for a comet. Not the best, but it's been doing well in the anti-vehicle, I suppose. Our headquarters are under fire. Seems like the Howies are just a little bit short on their barrages, you know. They could be barraging the base, they could actually be, be uh, threatening the Annihilation win. This kind of barrage is just kind of hoping to catch them and retreating, I think. Oh, that section died pretty quickly. The traffic jam there maybe allows the Faust to come through on the Comet. Did get a couple seconds of war speed though, safe from the Rakitin. Yes, I'm sure he probably wants to have Bren so he can fight back against these OKW troops, but he needs to save that munitions for the air supremacy. Just try and knock out those howitzers. Okay, another glider coming in for PS3. Yes, it's a walking Stuka. Infantry, but pretty well avoided. Oh, and the Ogre's dead. Dropped the LMG too. Wow. Really good for crossfire. I'm really surprised he hasn't put the uh, bar on the captain. That's what I would do. I'd put the bar on the captain and pick up the LMG 34. Make it into a very strong anti infantry squad. Duck on the lieutenant though. He's 
rattling away, but again, they're going for the base area, it seems like. It's just hoping to scatter along. It's not doing that much for Kaiser. Yeah, King Tug on the field for Daxter now as well. A bit one yet, though. Speeds forward, drops on artillery, forces the AT guns to dodge. Pretty good job of that, though. Sneaking in. Grenade. No dodge. Oh, retreating now. King Tug coming forwards. Ooh! That's away with it. Jackson coming in though. Saw the uh, Rakitten retreating. Hoping to get some free damage. And oh, while this happened, the Comet died though. Wow. How? Alps, maybe? Rakitten? I'm not sure. I apologize for missing that. Too much action in this game. We built the Ambo and he's gone for a side uh, forward retreat trying to avoid getting Howie'd. I'm not sure. I think he's actually out of Howie range from back there now. Firefly coming in. Doesn't have the tulip rockets upgraded. Otherwise, he could probably stun and kill here. Unprioritized vehicle, so he's not shooting back at the spotting infantry right now. Firefly blasting away from long range. Thanks to this squad. Staying safe. Can take a breaking vision there for a moment. But no support here for Kaiser. And there goes the King Tiger. Easy pickoff for the Firefly. Wow. He had one Rakitten and it was coming out from base. Reckless stuff there from Kaiser. <laughs> He's gonna let the Allies back into this game. Triple cap cooking against the Allies and they are behind now. But here Kaiser with the triple Howies. Now I'm going to climb back into this. Here we go. Put a move coming in for Dasks in the middle. Blitzing. Right into a snare though. Got the heat shells going. Maybe Jackson die one more shot. I think it will. Maybe took a little bit of Howie damage. There it goes. He took a risk though. Firing that shot on the move. Pretty high chance of it missing at that range. Got lucky though. Jackson does go down. Firefly coming in from the side though. Looking for some revenge. The Rakitsen. Pissing up. King Tiger coming in. Maybe you're going to be able to take this down with two AT grenades, though. Oh, I think that's on zero health. That second AT grenade bouncing. But the uh, Firefly comes back in, gets the kill. The Rakitten just out of range. Doesn't get to return fire. It might have been, it probably would have been the kill on the Firefly. Just on the edge of max range. He just A moved that forwards. Probably could have killed it, but he left it in camouflage. Ended up backfiring on them there. There's a working Stuka. Doesn't do much there. Firefly's been uh, so good for PS3, yes. I think it's killed two King Tigers and a Panther now. It's got the uh, Centaur up for some AA. Probably still needs a couple of AT guns, but he's just a lot of manpower. Crossfire, meanwhile, he's flooded with manpower. I'm really surprised he hasn't tried to build a cache. I suppose it would require him to rebuild his free airshot on that. Thousand manpower. Look how long these guys are taking to get suppressed. He's got the uh, suppression resistance bulletin. A bit of light cover there, assisting as well. Okay, steals away the Rakitten with the uh, Centaur kill. Guys are still going for these base Howie barrages. It's getting the occasional kills here and there for sure. I think the problem at the moment is that because this Ford retreats so far back, sometimes his units are retreating to base because that's the closer point. It's occasionally where they're getting hit. Guys are dropping the loiter, but it's got the Centaur there. You can drive out of the circle quite easily. Pick away. The uh, King Tank is pushing in behind this. I'm just going to see this coming. Just long 
range firing. Got a P4 and Raket backing this up. But the commander's looking to chase away the Raket and does get suppressed by the uh, spearhead mode eventually. P4's pushed him nonetheless. Gone for the firefly kill, but if he takes a snare, the P4's gonna die. And there's the snare. Firefly's coming back in for the kill. That was reckless from Dasta. No King Tiger support. I threw away his P4 there. Until it's shot down all the planes, now coming back in. Except it's still vision blocked by these shrubs a bit. Sprints away with that squad. Hope is dead up the top here. Crossfire making a bit of a push with all his infantry and AT guns now. There's the Jackson. Coming in from base. Oh, big damage on the other P4. Oh, he got air bursted out the back there. Centaur runs into a fresh King Tiger of Kaiser. It's a shoe line, I think. Zapper charging ahead, threatening the snare. King Tiger trying to back away from it. It's going to get away. He's good enough for an air supremacy, he just needs the vision. Take out one of these Howies. If he goes for the one in the middle, we'll get some collateral damage on the base as well. Kaiser down to just two squads, by the way. He keeps losing his Rakitans as well. King Tiger has almost no support. Doesn't even have the Shrek on his Sturmpire. Oh, just got blasted, crossfire pushing all the way up with everything is now in major trouble. They need some more Rakitans. They need these Howies to start landing some more shots as well. And this constant base barraging. Not always getting the results. And now the Allies looking to uh, get the triple cap going. They're down to 50. Axis is still at 160 here. To reveal where the commandos are. Expecting them to be over here, but they're on the uh, wreck. Smoke on retreat there. It's the vet. That's the walking stuka. That's actually pretty close to uh, the front lines. There's solid connections there for sure. Not many kills. Did a lot of health damage though. Maybe a bit unlucky to not get more. Up the middle. Okay, Rakitten's now for Kaiser. Yes, yes. Maybe try to be sneaking a squad and to provide some vision on these Howies. He's on the move. We just make them like here, you know. 20th range further forwards. This could be connecting with the buildings. He goes for the vet one. And on the second pass through, it does knock out the Rakitten. Oh, wow. Don't know if that was an attack round or regular yeah, shot, but... Uh, Centaur goes down. Nicely done there by Daskter. Making lights up here. Spotting. Rakitten getting some long range damage in. Sprinting backwards. Oh, attack rounds. Landing through the building again and again. Kill off the sandbags here. Open up the center a bit. Please recruit that pack how as well. That was out back decrewed for ages. A pretty good target for the Howies to shoot at. Tiger just driving straight past the Rakitten. Not a carrier in the world. He does care about the uh, three of us near. Okay, here we go. Crossfire making some moves. Open Stuka. One of the ATs gets decrewed. Yeah, 
and then no bonus penetration for the Firefly. It's bonus damage instead. So that's Vet 3, still going to be bouncing, and the same as always. Maybe the Axis is going to secure the VPs here, put the train back on the Allies. away out the back. Loads of munis for the Allies. Really a shame that Crossfire never went for weapons. He's got enough to go for the combo now. Maybe they're looking to do it like all at once. Make a coordinated push where the uh, just kind of get bamboozled there's just so much happening there is actually a raketin up for grabs back here as well maybe we could prepare and reinforce that bring that into action we do it on the centaur for ps3 yes Okay, Loiter coming in. Got the decap off though. Sapper's <clears throat> got that fast capture rate. Still shooting down the planes. Tiger rolling in here. And back away now though. <clears throat> Again, if he had the tulip rockets, probably could have stunned the King Tiger here. Got the kill while I was still in front of the Raketan. Might still get the kill though. But I was charging in. And there we go. It looked like that was an auto attack as well. Don't know how that really happened with the building there, but it did. Commandos to take out the Raketan. Big win there against Kaiser's tanks. Crossfire lost to Jackson over here, meanwhile though. Desk to it. Red Panther seeing to that. 24 points left for the Allies. Nice barrage away. Okay, they've vetted up now, maybe? Get some extra range. No. It's just a lucky scatter. I think they do get extra range at some stage, right? Yeah, vet three. Yeah, yep. Fresh Obers on the field for Kaiser. Commandos and Centaur hold on to the VP though, that's an important thing for the Allies. Okay, going down to... Okay, here we go. Comes forwards. The Centaur provides some vision. Dropping down this, maybe hoping to catch the Howie out the back as well. Maybe so drop it largely on the Shreer. Just coming off hold fire. Just by thrusting himself into the middle with everything. Oh, big lag. Oh my goodness. Does knock out the RT out the back as well. He's dead back here. Oh boy, what's this panther doing? Bit of a stutter, but eventually does clear the AT gun arc. Ooh. So he might get the kill while he's out of control, but no. That thing ends up dying. I wonder if it's because the Jackson kind of blocked its path. As soon as it's unable to move any further, it goes down. Meanwhile, at the back here, walking Stuka killed. Abandoned, now polished off by the AT guns. Raketan off his is going down as well. Triple cap against the Axis though. Dasta without that extra Panther. Gonna have a harder time of things. So what this big boy KT though. So Crossfire has been rebuilding his uh, Pathfinders. 
What's that? Vision is dropping the cluster bombs. KT has to respect that backing away. Gonna be stunned in front of a bunch of AT guns. Just coming back hard on the capture circles though. Centaur just driving in here, going after more of these houses. To safety, attack ground attempts, doesn't find its mark. Oh, nice work here, flanks the machine gun. King Tiger's coming down to help contest this point. Oh, that's a nasty shot. Oh, and then attack rounds for good measure. Commando's coming in. Looking for the wipe. Coming into the center with that squad. He's still holding on down here, though. Oh, the King Tiger, they're on the wrong side of cover. Ouch. Okay, he's dropping air supremacy down here, though. It's going to cause guys to scatter a bit. Just going to retreat with those, because they got suppressed. Centaur doing some dangerous maneuvering, but it's desperate times. And that's enough to uh, force Kaiser off for quite some time. Maybe the Jaeger lights could come back in, but no, there's actually a fresh commander coming in. Opportunity is dead to the cluster bombs, it seems like. Crossfire coming back into the center. Centaur going in for more, going in for these uh, Howies again. Howies could be used right now to uh, help deny the cap if they were uh, ready to fire. With them cooling down, though. Okay, good walking Stuka over there. T guns hanging on by a thread though, and they're enough to kill the walking Stuka. Wow. Got a bit too close to their desk. Doesn't get any squad wipes. Comet threatening from the side. Charging ahead though, knocks out one of the AT guns. And he kills it off with his own Jackson. That's interesting. Now the axis themselves are getting very low down to just 30 BPs. These guys get revealed. Gonna try coming for the cap, but the commandos are there. Doesn't get the ambush bonus though, got revealed beforehand. Oof! Out on the road though, that Jaeger light died so quickly. Come on, Doze and uh, Comet here. Maybe the Comet could drop some smoke in. Okay, it's gonna be cluster bombs. The attack round shenanigans going on here. Pose dodging. Oh, the cluster bombs knock out the machine gun. Another squad tagging into the capture circle. Faust engine damage. She smokes it. And rely on attack rounds, and they're good, but they're bouncing. Got a Rakesson pushed up here for Daskta as well. Bring his King Tiger down now, too. It's all happening down the bottom now. Opportunity's forced away. Comet goes down to the Rakit and fire, though. Really nice attack rounds from Kaiser. King Tiger needs to stay in here, though, to deny this cap. That's why I'm making a move in the middle. I think I hear another King Tiger rolling in for Kaiser out the back. It's going to go into cap with the Rakit, and there's nothing here to stop him yet. Centaur's going to come in from the side. That's why I'm trying to cap here, but Ober's holding on for a bit longer. Here's the D-Crew. Sapper's in here now. Gone for the cap. We got that fast capture as well. Double Jacksons. Fighting back. He's dropping in some commandos. The glider as well. Going to be good with the reinforcement. Oh, where's he going? He needs to stay in the capture circle. A few more points going drain here from the Axis. The Double Jacksons zoning. Oh, but he's not capping in the middle. So maybe this Jackson's pushed his infantry out of the circle. Oh, he's getting revealed. Concussive grenade dodged. Reinforcing off the glider. The oh. Oh. Oh, they're still alive. Stimpo stopped the cap. But the commandos reinforce. And they get the cap off. Tiger's zoned out, but it's coming back in now, but it's too late. Crossfire's going to secure the cap in the center, and the allies are going to close the show. <laughs> okay.
Well, it was a fun game, lots of action for sure. Bit of a clown show, though, with the uh, <laughs> three Howies and rebuilding one of them after they got bombed out as well. They just didn't really accomplish that much. I think, honestly, if he, if he managed to build them, like, as I said, like maybe 20 range further forwards so they could actually reach the base, they probably could have, like, annihilated the base buildings of Crossfire, maybe of Pierceus as well. When you're threatening the annihilation win, you know, that's that's another story altogether. But yeah, maybe a couple King Tiger throws a little bit from Kaiser as well. Definitely allowed the allies back into this one when they were in some dire straits. But they are, uh, you know, some pretty good uh, pushes all around. Entertaining match, good coordination by the two teams since they are randoms as well. Assisting each other in some crucial moments, good rotations of the allied tank destroyers. Similar story from the King Tiger and the Jacksons of Daxter. He was definitely doing the heavy lifting in this one. But yeah, our allies are a bit more on the tail end of that one. Could use the commandos, you know, with the ambushes, decroying stuff with their gammon bombs and killing any wipes there. Do you think maybe Crossfire could have benefited from uh, putting down some uh, fuel caches this game? And maybe going for some bars as well. Putting them on some of his infantry. But all right, didn't do that. Ended up using uh, spamming these cluster bombs in the late game since he had about 600 munis, and they definitely helped with the uh, VP control. Well, anyway, guys, wrap on that. Flight good, can be cast by me. Details are in the video description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you all for the next thrilling installment. Goodbye, good luck.